We have a question from Ryan, and Ryan says, I love the podcast. Well, thank you so much. And especially like your perspective on Olympic weightlifting. I've never gone deep into the lifts myself. <laughs> Is that a play on words? But play around with the power variation it is a play on words with the power of variations a lot while warming up and follow uh, the sport online. I know you've competed recently yourself. So my question for you is this. And this question doesn't tie into any of this other stuff. But do you follow the sport uh, at the highest level? A little bit. Um, I have found in the last few years it's more and more difficult to follow <clears throat> the sports I love. Uh, what do I think about this Georgian super who's some people say will be the greatest lifter of all time? I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've seen him lift. He recently totaled 485 at the European Championship and then posted a training hall total of 495, 225 snatch and 270 clean and jerk. I can't get enough of watching his lift and I'm rooting for him to hit his goal of totaling 500 kilos during his career. You know, I'm not really that familiar uh, with him. I've seen him lift, obviously. Um and, and I do, and I do follow the sport, but, uh, you know, it is, uh, you know, every, every, it seems like every few years, the sport is, is always being dangled. Um, it might in my lifetime, no longer be an Olympic sport. Um, they're, they're doing, they're really limiting at this upcoming Olympics. And if the Olympics lose the Olympic lifts, it's going to be, uh, it's gonna be a sad day for the sport. Um, yeah. Uh, some of these lifters, uh, are doing some stuff nowadays that are just stunning, but uh, no, I don't follow them like I hope. I, I guess I should, but I will from now on. And thank you for your recommendation. 